Kyle, I imagine you've had an opportunity to sit back and obviously review that jubilant, obviously, victory yep. against Dewsbury on on Sunday. Massive wraps to the 14 players, as we said afterwards, that have, that have uh, that, that took the field and, and were able to, to get the victory. But we're a week further on and the, the narrative now, it, it turns to York on Sunday and our penultimate home game of the season. It sure does. Uh, yeah, look, we've, uh, we've digested that that game on Sunday, we've enjoyed it. Uh, we enjoyed our, we, we enjoyed the next sort of day or two after it, no doubt. The players with all the uh, the headlines and admiration that came their way. But very quickly on Tuesday, you know, we had a bit of a uh, a recovery session. So I want to give obviously a special mention to to Lee Butterworth, who who has allowed us to use his facilities at Extreme Fitness there at Lily Hall to allow our players just to mentally get away from this place. Uh, you know, do a bit of recovery work, some some some. some bits with ball in hand as well but all low key uh, and then we got a good video done and, and in that video you know we started off obviously showing all the great things that we did but then very quickly you know I wanted to the lads to understand that what's going to take us you know to grab more wins and that's hard work commitment and effort commitment no doubt you cannot you cannot question that but I mean in moments in games and uh, there was an awful lot for us to fix up on um, the irony is we're playing a team that seems to over the last couple of weeks fixed up in some of those effort areas so uh, but told the boys that that week's gone nobody in the competition cares anymore about that um, and we look to get back on our home field and try and put in a, a very, very decent performance against a good York side who are chasing playoffs and, and we're chasing points, so uh, all to play for. You've remarked when we spoke previously that a week's a long time in Whitehaven Rugby League, in fact 24 hours was <laughs> at, at certain stages, but yeah, last week, as you've said, it, it doesn't really matter now in the grand scheme of things, you've got to all focus looking into this week against the York side who's looking very well uh, since Mark, Mark Applegarth comes mm -hmm. in. He, he's changing the narrative of their season. He's he completely turned them around and, and changing for the team who was scrapping round with ourselves around that bottom et echelons of the division to a side that are challenging just outside the playoffs. They've had a, a massive turnaround in the last sort of six, seven, eight weeks. Yeah, they have. Um, and, you know, I've showed the boys some vision there that, the you know, we've, we've looked at some of those key threats and we've looked at some of those things that we expect to see. Uh, you know, you can always identify sort of regular regular patterns and regular you know regular things in games and you know we've looked at that you know we haven't we haven't gone too much heavy on them but we've identified what they are and what they're about and again those key players that they have for them but this is very much about us uh, this weekend uh, it's about you know our ability to react and continue to respond and continue to help drive towards picking up as many wins as we can um, and that's that's what we're focused on. We've had another good training session tonight, and uh, you know that's that done. Uh, we get a couple of days off, and we get ready for for that, which will what will be a no doubt a real big physical encounter against a decent York side. You mentioned another good training session. Seem to be a few more numbers out there tonight. What what what's a sort of squad looking like heading towards Sunday? Yeah, well, hopefully, Jordan, we can we can. I'm delighted to say that we can get uh, potentially a 17. There's still one or two things we need to check on there, and uh, you know it's important now that 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 we get some bodies back and um, and and not be able to use that. You know, the players understand that. That doesn't mean if we have 17 that we look for way outs in games, which I don't think they I don't think they will. But it allows us to to rotate and it allows us to get players out of situations where perhaps they may have got injured or may have you know through fatigue errors etc creeping in, um, and and it gives us an opportunity to get a good look at, at some players that that we've missed. So um, everything's a, a little bit more positive this week. You mentioned everything's obviously been a bit more positive and I don't want to put a little bit of a downer on it, but obviously it's our penultimate home game of the season. Obviously it's been well documented what's gone on over the last few weeks and people may look and take the jubilation of Sunday and go, great, you know, the club's solved, you know, everything all sorted. Still a big need for people of West Cumbria, the people of Whitehaven, the surrounding areas, still yeah. to come through them gates on Sunday, <laughs> back, the, back, the, back the team and back yeah. the club. Yeah, listen, I don't think anybody in this town or wider is saying that Whitehaven Rugby League is solved, far from it. Uh, you know, we have a lot of challenges. We have short, medium and, well, a short, medium and long-term goal, but the short term is my part. The medium term is, is, is what needs to go on in the off-season and the long term for after that. But we had a chat with Robert Hicks. Uh, when I came into this job, you know, 10, 11 days ago, whatever it was, 
I always said that I'd be open and honest about where we are and, and let the fans know where we are and the people uh, who have maybe uh, a bit of an interest in this, but you know, perhaps need to maybe help, not show it, but, but, but help us out a little bit. Um, and uh, yeah, we had a chat with Robert Hicks and, and, and where we are is that if we don't fulfil this season, there is no guarantee that the Rugby Football League will give us a licence for season 2025. So if we don't fulfil this season, to put it clearly, that there will be never again Rugby League in this town. That's how serious it is. So what we need to do here is, is the, ch the club has challenges coming up. Uh, we, we've gone through all that. We feel we're in a relatively OK place. But we do need help still. And one of the ways we can do that is obviously by getting down here on Sunday and trying to get many people back through them gates. You know, I, when I was a young kid growing up and I know things have changed that, you know, I was watching the White Evans side, you know, right at the top of this division and with five and six thousand against Castleford and, and big, big crowds. And I still think that, um, you know, any time that top flight rugby league has came to this county, that it's always been well supported. Now, I understand where we are. But my message or my challenge is to not, not so much to the, not the hardcore fans, far from that, but I'm going to say and challenge the people of, who are rugby league people. And what I mean by that is whatever your, whatever your affiliation is with this club or your, or your relationship with this club, that's by the by. You know, that, that will you know, hopefully get turned around in, in years to come. But... I'm talking to people who are rugby league people here and what we're seeing at the moment is a group of players that aren't, that aren't here next season. Not all of them will be here next season, but they are still turning out and playing for this badge, this town, this club to make sure that it's here for season 2025. And, and I think that you know, rugby league people understand and, and, and should support a team that is showing the core values of the game, which is toughness, which is hard working, which is a willing a willingness to not give in. And that's what we've seen here at Whitehaven over the last couple of weeks. So my message is to get down and support that. Never mind the club as such, support that. Support those players who are continuing to do that, to make sure that fans get a chance and an opportunity to allow this club to grow so we can have big, big games back down here, so we can have you know, future generations, perhaps with a platform that if things go well off the field in the coming years, that we've got a decent competitive place to play rugby league. And perhaps then, you know, some of our better players don't have to leave the county. They're able to play out there or wherever it may be. But it's important that we support that.